Want to check out Peru? Peru, an awesome spot in South America, is all about jaw-dropping scenery. Think Andes and Amazon rainforest vibes. Plus, they've got Machu Picchu, which is like the rock star of ancient ruins. And lest I forget the food, it's like a global taste party, and the culture's a real colorful blast. You've got to check it out. Peru's history is like this crazy, epic story that's been unfolding for thousands of years. Back in the day, we're talking about prehistoric times, there was this Nordachico civilization hanging out, one of the oldest in the world around 3200 BCE. Then the Inca Empire rolled in during the 15th century, hitting its peak. But hold on to your hats because in the early 16th century, Spanish conquistadors led by Francisco Pizarro crashed the party. They basically took over the Inca Empire in 1533, bossing around the indigenous folks and making Peru their new hangout. Fast forward and Peru becomes the hotspot for colonial riches thanks to the silver mining in Potosi and farming. That's when places like Lima got all fancy. But there's a dark side too, with exploitation and rebellion popping up now and then. Then in the late 18th century, the Enlightenment, American and French revolutions lit a fire under Peru's quest for independence. José de San Martín and Simón Bolívar led the charge, and in 1821, Peru finally said goodbye to colonial rule. That's when they started their journey as an independent nation. Because of a wild history of migration, Peru has an amazing mixture of people that is akin to a human melting pot. You've got your indigenous people, who are the descendants of the super-old Incas and other ancient civilizations. They're a big chunk of the population and still keep their cool traditions alive. Peru's diversity doesn't stop there. There are mestizos who have a mix of indigenous and European backgrounds, kind of like a fusion cuisine of people. And don't forget about Afro-Peruvians, who are mainly descended from African folks brought over during the colonial days, adding some rhythm to the mix. Plus, there are smaller Asian communities like Chinese and Japanese folks who came to Peru in the 19th and 20th centuries, spicing up the culture even more. Language-wise, it's a party. Spanish is the official language, but you've also got indigenous languages like Quechua and Aymara. These languages aren't just about talking, they're like a time machine that connects people to their history and keeps traditions alive in this crazy, awesome country. Peru's geography is loaded with landmarks that are off the charts. The famous Machu Picchu, way up in the Andes, is like the ultimate proof that the Incas were rock stars at engineering and building stuff. Then you've got the Nazca Lines, these gigantic drawings etched right into the desert floor, and no one's quite sure how they got there. Super mysterious. But wait, there's more. The Amazon rainforest is like a green jungle party with wildlife galore, and the Colca Canyon is so deep, you'll need to catch your breath from the views. Cusco is like a history book come to life with fancy old buildings. Arequipa's got these cool white volcanic stone structures, and Lima mixes modern vibes with historical charm. Lake Titicaca? It's the highest lake you can sail on, and has these wild Uros floating islands made out of reeds. Talk about a floating wonderland. Basically, Peru's geography is a mashup of nature's coolest hits and human creativity, and it's mind-blowing. Picture this, the Amazon rainforest, right? It's like a wild plant party with orchids in every color of the rainbow and these towering K-pop trees that touch the sky. Then, up in the high-altitude spots, you've got weird and wonderful stuff like the Puya Raimondi, which is basically a giant bromeliad, and it's tough as nails. Now, when it comes to animals, it's like a real-life safari. You've got the Andean condor doing aerial acrobatics, jaguars sneaking around in the forest, and the nearby Amazon River is home to pink river dolphins and Amazonian manatees. They're like underwater celebrities. And don't forget the spectacled bear, the one and only bear in South America, hanging out in the Andean cloud forests. Peru's nature is like a non-stop adventure, showing off its natural awesomeness. The dynamic mix of traditional and modern industries that make up Peru's economy is supported by a number of different revenue streams. It relies heavily on mining and mineral exports, particularly copper, gold, and silver, which account for a significant portion of its GDP. Additionally, agriculture plays a crucial role, with exports of coffee, quinoa, and asparagus contributing to the nation's income. Peru's tourism industry has also surged, drawing visitors to iconic destinations like Machu Picchu and boosting the service sector. Peru's GDP was around $220 billion with a steadily growing middle class. However, income inequality remains a challenge as higher wages are often concentrated in urban areas, leaving rural populations with limited access to economic opportunities. 
commodities. The currency used is the Peruvian Sol, and its exchange rate against the US dollar has historically fluctuated, making it attractive for foreign investors. Intriguing economic insights include Peru's trade agreements with countries like the United States, China, and the European Union, which foster international commerce. Additionally, the country has embraced sustainable practices in mining and agriculture, aiming for responsible economic growth while preserving its natural resources. However, economic conditions may have evolved so it's advisable to consult current sources for the latest information on Peru's economy. The geopolitics of Peru are characterized by a variety of difficulties and diplomatic ties that influence its position internationally. The nation faces ongoing political challenges, including corruption, social inequality, and governance issues. These challenges have led to periodic shifts in leadership and policy directions, affecting the country's internal stability. In terms of allies, Peru maintains friendly relations with countries like the United States, which has often supported its economic and security interests. Additionally, Peru has cultivated ties with regional partners in Latin America, participating actively in organizations like the Pacific Alliance and the Union of South American Nations, or UNICER. On the flip side, historical territorial disputes with neighboring Chile have sometimes strained relations. Peru's relations with Venezuela have also faced challenges due to political instability in the latter. Moreover, its stance on environmental and indigenous rights issues has, at times, caused frictions with multinational corporations. Peru's geopolitics are a delicate balance of addressing internal challenges while navigating complex international relationships, all within the broader context of regional dynamics in South America. Peruvian grub is like a wild food party, mixing up all sorts of flavors from indigenous, Spanish, African, and Asian traditions. It's like a food adventure through Peru's diverse landscapes and culture. Picture this, on the coast there's ceviche, which is basically super fresh seafood taking a dip in lime juice. They toss in sweet potatoes and corn for good measure. Then in the Andean mountains, they're all about this thing called pachamanca. It's like a treasure chest of slow-cooked meat and veggies, buried underground for that extra earthy vibe. And don't even get me started on the Amazon jungle. It's got stuff like paiche, this giant fish, and sacha inchi, a superfood seed. They even wrap rice and chicken in banana leaves, calling it huane. Peruvian fusion food is next level too, with dishes like causa, a seafood and mashed potato tower, and lomo saltado, where Chinese stir-fry meets Peruvian pizzazz. Oh, and for the daring, there's cuy, aka roasted guinea pig. It's been a thing since the pre-Inca days. Basically, eating in Peru is like a flavor-filled journey through history. Get ready for a taste explosion. The customs, traditions, and rituals that make up Peruvian culture are arranged like a crazy patchwork quilt and reveal a fascinating history. I mean, they've got it all from ancient Inca shindigs to modern fiestas that light up the place. Think about Inti Raimi, the festival of the sun, where they go all out with parades, music, and dance. And then there's the Day of the Dead, where they remember their loved ones with colorful celebrations. Celebrations. But hold your horses, literally. They've got this rad Peruvian Paso horse dance where these elegant horses strut their stuff and the riders are like equestrian rock stars. Plus, weaving is huge. And those intricate textiles made by indigenous folks, they're like cultural treasures. And speaking of treasures, Peru's got some big name artists like Mario Vargas Llosa, a literature Nobel laureate, and painters like Fernando de Cislo, making waves worldwide. The culture of Peru is a crazy fusion of the old and the new, and it is all about honoring their heritage, traditions, and the artistic genius of their national heroes. Peru has made a name for itself in the international sports scene and has some serious talent. Back in the day, athlete Edwin Vasquez Cam bagged a gold medal in shooting at the 1948 London Olympics. Talk about making history, but that's not all. They're like champs in surfing and volleyball too, with world champions and rock star players popping up left and right. Now soccer is where the real party's at in Peru. They're nuts about it, and their national team, known as La Blanquiroja, gets some crazy love. They've even strutted their stuff at the FIFA World Cup a few times. The secret sauce behind Peru's sports excellence is this awesome mix of indigenous games and Spanish vibes. You've got Sapo, where you toss coins, and Fulbito, a tiny soccer version that's all about fusion. And let's not forget the legends like Teofilo Cubillas, the soccer maestro, and Sofia Milanovic, the queen of surfing. These guys put Peru on the global sports map and showed off their their never give up spirit. Peru's got game, and they're not afraid to flaunt it. Did you know that Peru is the birthplace of the potato, with over 3,000 varieties of potatoes grown in the country? If you like this video, you'll love this next one.